वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव वर्ल्ड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सॉल्व चैप्टर थ्री लर्निंग असेसमेंट ई थ्री पॉइंट थ्री वाइल सॉल्विंग दिस प्रॉब्लम वी विल बी यूजिंग किर्च ऑफ करंट लॉ अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस लॉ अकोमोलेटिव करंट ऑन अ नोड इन साइड एन इलेक्ट्रिकल नेटवर्क इज ऑलवेज इक्वल टू जीरो सम ऑफ ऑल एंटरिंग करंट्स ऑन अ नोड इज ऑलवेज इक्वल टू सम ऑफ ऑल लिविंग करंट्स फ्रॉम डेट नोड वी आल्सो विल बी यूजिंग ओहम्स लॉ अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस लॉ वोल्टेज अक्रॉस एनी रेजिस्टेंस आर इज इक्वल टू द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ करंट थ्रू इट एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस इट सेल्फ नाउ मूव टूवर्ड्स द प्रॉब्लम लर्निंग असेसमेंट ई थ्री पॉइंट थ्री Use nodal analysis to find value of voltage V0 in given below figure. This is the circuit diagram of given problem. Inside this network, we have to find voltage across this one kilo ohm resistance labeled as V0, and we have to use nodal analysis technique to solve this problem. So, without wasting time, let's proceed towards the solution. We know that while solving problem with the nodal analysis technique we have to follow some steps. First step is to find the number of nodes in the network. In this case there are four number of nodes present in the network and these nodes are highlighted. One node out of these four nodes will be treated as reference or ground node. In our case this node will be treated as reference or ground node. Nodal analysis will be applied on remaining three nodes to calculate voltage V0. We also know that number of node equations in any scenario will be equal to number of nodes while leaving reference or ground node. In our case there will be three node equations with respect of these three nodes. Now we will move towards the second step. In this step we have to label all node voltages as well as all unknown branch currents along with their directions. Here we have labeled these three node voltages as voltage V1, V2 and V3 and all branch currents are assumed with their directions. If we took any branch current in wrong direction then its answer will be in minus which will be indicating that we have taken wrong direction of that current. After completing this step we have to apply Kirchhoff's current law one by one on these nodes. We will start from here. On this node one current is entering while three currents are leaving I1, I2 and 2 mA. So Kirchhoff's current law equation for this node will be 8 mA is entering current while I1, I2 and 2 mA are leaving currents. Now we have to replace these two currents with their respective equations. Current I1 will be equal to voltage across this 3 kilo ohm resistance divided by the value of resistance. Voltage across this resistance is V1 and the value of resistance is 3 kilo ohm. So current I1 will be equal to V1 divided by 3 kilo ohm. Similarly, current through this branch that is labeled as I2 will be equal to voltage across this 6 kilo ohm resistance divided by the value of resistance. In this case, the direction of current is leaving from this node and entering towards this node. It means this node would be on higher potential than this node. So voltage across this 6 kilo ohm resistance will be the difference of these two node voltages. Current I2 will be equal to V1 minus V2 divided by 6 kilo ohm. Modify this equation. I1 is equal to V1 divided by 3 kilo ohm and I2 is equal to V1 minus V2 divided by 6 kilo ohm. We will further solve this equation. 2 mA will subtract from 8 mA. The remaining will be 6 mA. Now in order to omit values in denominator we will multiply this equation on both sides with 6 kilo ohm. So the product of 6 kilo ohm and 6 mA will result 36 volt milli will cancel out with k and the product of ampere and ohm will become volt. Similarly product of 6 kilo ohm and V1 divided by 3 kilo ohm will result 2 V1. 
एंड हेयर प्रोडक्ट ऑफ सिक्स किलो ओम विल कैंसल आउट सिक्स किलो ओम इन डिनोमिनेटर ओनली वी वन माइनस वी टू विल लेफ्ट नाउ ओपन दीज ब्रैकेट माइनस विल मल्टीप्लाई विद वैल्यूज इन साइड द ब्रैकेट द इक्वेशन विल बिकम माइनस टू वी वन माइनस वी वन प्लस वी टू इक्वल टू माइनस थर्टी सिक्स वोल्ट दिस थर्टी सिक्स वोल्ट इज प्लेस्ड ऑन द अदर एंड साइड ऑफ इक्वल इन ऑर्डर टू सेपरेट कॉन्स्टेंट फ्रॉम वेरिएबल्स एड माइनस वी वन एंड माइनस टू वी वन टूगेदर देयर सम विल बी इक्वल टू माइनस थ्री वी वन प्लस वी टू इक्वल टू माइनस थर्टी सिक्स वोल्ट दिस इक्वेशन कैन नॉट बी फर्दर सॉल्व सो वी विल लेबल दिस इक्वेशन एज इक्वेशन ए एंड मूव टूवर्ड्स नेक्स्ट नोड नाओ वी विल अप्लाई किच ऑफ करंट ला ऑन दिस नोड हेयर ओनली वन करंट इज एंटरिंग वाइल टू करंट्स आर लिविंग सो किच ऑफ करंट ला इक्वेशन फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर नोड विल बी आई टू इज एंटरिंग करंट वाइल आई थ्री एंड आई फोर आर लिविंग करंट Entering current is taken with positive sign while leaving currents are taken with negative sign. We have to replace these currents with their respective equations. Current I2 equation is V1 minus V2 divided by 6 kilo ohm as we have calculated in previous step. Current I3 will be equal to voltage across this 6 kilo ohm resistance divided by the value of resistance. and voltage across this resistance is v2 so the value of current i3 will be equal to v2 divided by 6 kilo ohm similarly current i4 will be equal to voltage across this 2 kilo ohm resistance divided by the value of resistance since current is leaving from this node and entering towards this node it means this node would be on higher potential than this node so voltage across this 2 kilo ohm resistance will be equal to the difference of these two node voltages i4 will be equal to v2 minus v3 divided by 2 kilo ohm modify this equation i2 is replaced with v1 minus v2 divided by 6 kilo ohm I3 is replaced with V2 divided by 6 kilo ohm and I4 is replaced with V2 minus V3 divided by 2 kilo ohm in order to omit denominator values we will multiply this equation on both sides with 6 kilo ohm product of 6 kilo ohm and 6 kilo ohm in denominator will cancel out with each other only V1 minus V2 will left similarly product of 6 kilo ohm and 6 kilo ohm in denominator will cancel out with each other only minus v2 will left here product of 6 kilo ohm and v2 minus v3 divided by 2 kilo ohm will result 3 into v2 minus v3 open these brackets multiply minus 3 with variables inside the brackets the equation will become v1 minus v2 minus v2 minus 3v2 plus 3v3 equal to 0 add variable v2 values together the equation will become v1 minus 5v2 plus 3v3 equal to 0 and this equation can not be further solved so this is the second node equation of this network labeled as equation b we will move towards the last node of the network on this node two currents are entering one is i4 and other one is 2 milliampere and only one current is leaving that is i5 leaving current is taken with negative sign while entering currents are taken with positive sign equation of current i4 is v2 minus v3 divided by 2 kilo ohm as we have calculated in previous step and current i5 will be equal to voltage across this 1 kilo ohm resistance that is v3 divided by the value of resistance 1 kilo ohm modify this equation by replacing these two currents with their respective equations current i4 is replaced with v2 minus v3 divided by 2 kilo ohm and current i5 is replaced with v3 divided by 1 kilo ohm now in order to omit these denominator values we will multiply this equation on both sides with 2 kilo ohm product of 2 kilo ohm and 2 kilo ohm in denominator will cancel out with each other only v2 minus v3 will left and product of 2 kilo ohm and 2 milliampere will result 4 volt Similarly product of 2 kilo ohm and V3 divided by 1 kilo ohm will result 2 V3 now add minus 2 V3 and minus V3 together it will become minus 3 V3 and place 4 V on the other hand side of equal to separate constant from variables 
सो इक्वेशन विल बिकम वी टू माइनस थ्री वी थ्री इक्वल टू माइनस फोर वोल्ट एंड दिस इक्वेशन आल्सो कैन नॉट बी फर्दर सॉल्व सो वी विल लीव दिस इक्वेशन एज इक्वेशन सी एंड इट इज द थर्ड नोड इक्वेशन ऑफ दिस नेटवर्क so up to this point we have calculated three node equations of this network that are labeled as equation a b and c now we have to further solve these equations in order to calculate node voltage v3 we are interested to calculate the value of voltage v3 because it is equal to voltage across this 1 kilo ohm resistance In other words voltage V3 is equal to V0 which are required to calculate so we will take equation A and we'll try to find equation for voltage V1 in this equation A we have swapped the position of these two values in order to get the value of voltage V1 now in order to find equation of V1 we will divide on both sides with 3 equation for voltage v1 will become v2 divided by 3 plus 36 volt divided by 3 36 will cancel out with 3 the equation will become v2 divided by 3 plus 12 volt now the value of voltage v1 will be placed inside this equation b so equation b will become v2 divided by 3 plus 12 volt it is the value of voltage v1 Minus five v two plus three v three equal to zero. Now open these brackets and in order to omit denominator values, we will multiply this equation with three. Product of three will cancel out with three in denominator. Only v two will left, and product of three and twelve volt will become thirty six volt. Similarly, product of three and five v two will become fifteen v two. and product of 3 and 3 v3 will become 9 v3 now subtract v2 from minus 15 v2 it will become minus 14 v2 plus 9 v3 and place this 36 volt on the other end side of equal to separate it from variables it will become minus 36 volt in order to calculate the value of voltage v3 we will multiply this equation c with 14 and add that resulting equation in this equation so the product of 14 with this equation c will become 14 v2 minus 14 multiply by 3 will become 42 v3 and 14 multiply by 4 will become 56 add these equations together Minus 14 v2 and plus 14 v2 will cancel out with each other. Subtract 9 v3 from 42 v3. The answer will be minus 33 v3 because large value have minus sign along with it. Similarly, sum of minus 36 volt and minus 56 volt will become minus 92 volt. Now, in order to calculate the value of voltage V3, divide on both sides with minus 33. This minus will cancel out minus along with this value, and 92 divided by 33 will become 2.7878. As we have discussed earlier, voltage V3 is appearing across 1 kilo ohm resistance. and v0 is also appearing across 1 kilo ohm resistance with same polarity so we can say that v3 is also equal to v0 so the value of v0 inside this network will be equal to 2.79 volt this was learning assessment e3.3 thank you see you again in next video